in the age when the world still cradled the echoes of magic in its quietest corners, a night of great consequence unfolded on the shores of Avalon. In the heart of the ancient woodland, where the trees stood as venerable witnesses to the secrets of existence, a child was ushered into the realms of mortality beneath a silvered sky. The birthing was a silent affair, orchestrated by the celestial dance of stars and the soft breath of the wind among the leaves. A humble cottage, embraced by the enigmatic arms of yew and oak, cradled the child who emerged into the world. A golden-haired enigma with eyes reflecting the veiled truths of the cosmos. Yet this tale weaves a narrative not of joyous celebration, but of the bittersweet orchestration of destiny. The parents, tethered to the threads of a prophecy that whispered of greatness and sacrifice, made a choice that would ripple across the tapestry of time. With hearts heavy and laden with a silent plea, they left the babe by the mystical lake, nestled within a basket, adorned with wildflowers, an offering to the waters that held the law of the ages. As the couple dissolved into the night's shadow, a figure, draped in the mist's ethereal shroud, emerged from the depths of the lake. The Lady of the Lake, custodian of the otherworldly waters, approached the abandoned child with a grace that seemed to float upon the surface of the rippling waves. She cradled the babe in her arms, her voice a melodic whisper, entwined with the essence of the earth's ancient tales. Fear not, little one, she murmured, her eyes a reflection of the moon's ethereal glow. For destiny has woven the strands that bring you to my embrace. And thus she named him Lancelot, a name that resonated with the echoes of chivalry and valour. Under the watchful eyes of the lady, the child burgeoned amidst the enchanting mists, where the boundary between the mundane and magical blurred like the brushstrokes of an unseen artist. The lady, a sorceress whose mastery extended beyond the comprehension of mere mortals, became not only a guardian, but a guide. She unfolded for young Lancelot, the language of the stars, the ancient wisdom ingrained within the trees, and the art of wielding a blade with the finesse of a breeze gentle caress. In moonlight glades, he imbibed the code of knighthood, honour, courage, and an unwavering commitment to shield those who could not shield themselves. As the years advanced, Lancelot's skills surpassed mortal imagination. His swordplay was a ballet, his harp a beacon of righteousness. The Lady of the Lake, with her enigmatic smile, observed his metamorphosis with a maternal pride that transcended the boundaries of blood. And so, Beneath the protective bows of Avalon, Lancelot, the foundling of the lake, prepared to embark on a journey that would sculpt the fate of Albion. Unbeknownst to him, the whispers of his tale resonated through the ancient woods, heralding the arrival of legendary times in the land of myth and magic. The end.